He shoots. He scores. Woo! Beer, 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 beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mick Bruski, for the Rusk Bruski review. And today, the beer I have for you is not just by a brewery, but actually a winery. Funny enough, but they've made a brew, and this beer is by the Wayne Gretzky Estates. But this is their new craft brewing, I guess, subsidiary sister thing, little portion off branch from the regular winemaking. This is Wayne Gretzky Craft Brewing number 99 rye lager brewed with rye grain. Coming in at 5% alcohol by volume and an unlisted IBUs not here on the nice black and white can. The white portion that portion being uh, sort of like the 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 ice when when uh, when a skater or a hockey player just abruptly stops and sort of sh shoots their skates out and get the splash of the uh, of the ice shred uh, ice shard sort of thing going up in the glass. It's sort of what it reminds me of. Very very nice looking can indeed. Beautiful beautiful. Five percent rye lager. Unknown IBUs not here on the can, not on the website, and not on Untapped either. But we're gonna take a guess. I mean, it's a lager. It's probably not gonna be any more than probably 25 at the top end. But like I said, I'm gonna take an educated guess and see what it may be. And with that said, let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. Pouring into my Wellington pop can style glass. That's actually a much lighter color than I figured. And again, it is a lager, not a rye ale, but looking at that beer, oh my god, it's clear. It looks exactly like a macro lager in color, kind of. I've also noticed I have a very big, not chip, but crack kind of in the glass. Not the greatest thing in the world, but hey, nothing's leaking, nothing's broken. I don't have any shards anywhere, so that's good. Yeah, very, very clear, very golden in color. You can see my face We're already through the camera. Very, very nice, nice head on top. Actually, standing around quite a bit longer than I expected. Let's have a smell. Okay, so, uh, aromas. Nothing really special in my mind. <laughs> Smells just like a regular lager. Maybe a bit more intense, a little bit skunky per se, a little bit more toffee note kind of, but nothing that really sort of breaks any boundaries, nothing that really catches me uh, by surprise. Just pretty straightforward on the aroma. Sweet corn, grains, a little bit of toffee, a little bit of caramel, slight butterscotch. Yeah, nothing crazy at all. Maybe in the taste is where we get a little bit more rye, because rye has a very distinct flavor. It's hard for me to sort of describe it. It's just, it's very distinct. So let's see if that's a thing here. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Kind of. Rye is... Uh, how do I describe it? Mm, like bitter... Sweet. In, in, in my opinion, it's like butterscotchery or very like... Caramelized sweetness with a very uh, abrupt and, and intense sort of bitterness. Um, that kind of just lingers and tastes sort of... I don't know, for me, it's sort of unpleasant. Um, I'm not a big fan of rye, uh, especially in beer, but it's something that I'm getting a bit more used to. This isn't as bad. I've had some rye ales um, and stuff like that where, where, where they're, it's a lot more intense. This is a bit more toned down. Very reminiscent, at least that bitterness of sort of like a pilsner, that sourdough bitterness in the background there. But other than the rye, in here, um, 
this one just tastes like a regular regular macro lager. Nothing, nothing extravagant, nothing that really stands out that makes it different from the crowd. It's really the rye in here that sort of gets it, uh, gets it a little bit of uniqueness points per se. So with that said, cheers everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Yeah, the rye is there. It's a bitter, sweet sort of... Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know how to explain it. It's something that you just have to taste to really, I guess, understand what it is. But yeah, bittersweet sounds like the best way to explain it. But then again, that's a very, very broad term. It's bittery sweet, but bit sweet. Like a sweet sort of grainy, sort of like a sweet bread, but then mixing it with a very between like a mixture of like sourdough souriness and pumpernickel or dark dark bread bitteriness is kind of where my mind is putting descriptive words to flavors to flavors that I've known in previous I guess times of my life kind of that's the best way that I can really put it um, if anybody has any better explanation Please let me know down in the comment box below because I, uh, uh, explaining words is kind of hard for me sometimes, especially when I can't figure out what words. Uh, I guess that's exactly what I'm saying. Explain. I'm, I'm using too many words to explain things that I don't understand how to explain. Does that make sense? Kind of ish. I I don't know. I really don't know. It's been a long day, but usually it is because hours and working and long, working long hours. There we go. But as for the beer, the aromas off this are very, I want to say boring, nothing exciting, nothing that gets you up and moving like, oh, wow, cool new beer. But the flavor is better than I expected. It's growing on me. You know, I thought it was going to be a little bit more basic. It is a little basic as far as lagers go in the beginning, but what I like about it, the rye does shine through a bit more, and it's not super intense. The rest of the, 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 the base lager of it is beautifully done, very crisp, very clean, um, goes down smooth, and that rye just sort of gives it that extra oomph, that extra punch, sort of like what Wayne Gretzky did in the NHL. But yeah, no, definitely does. It gives it some diversity, gives it some character to the beer. And I'm pretty happy. As far as lagers go, with that rye, definitely a bit more bitter, slightly more drier of a lager in my personal opinion. IBUs, I'd probably put it more on that higher end, probably at about anywhere between 23, 25 IBUs in my personal opinion, just because of that, that rye does give it that bit more bitterness, not sharp bitterness like, a, like an IPA or a pale ale. More of like a blunt, rounded bitterness, if that makes any sense. But with that said, we're going to move over to this beautiful looking can of black and white. That, that color, just the black and white, seems very basic. Seems very, very, just meh. But the way that that uh, that they've done the white here, looking like a, like, like a skater or a hockey player, has just stopped abruptly and just get that shot of, shot of, you know, sharp shaved ice up in there is absolutely fantastic that's really cool but let's let's focus on the information right now wayne gretzky craft brewing number 99 rye lager brewed with rye grain five percent alcohol by volume unknown ibus like i said probably around 23 to 25 ibus uh on the back let's start with the description a great beer from the great one Canadian rye grains add an extra layer of depth, zest, and freshness to the smooth malt and light hops flavor of a classic lager. Ingredients are water, malted barley, malted rye, hops, and yeast. Brewed at Niagara on the Lake, Ontario, Canada. Every can proudly supports the Wayne Gretzky, fra Wayne Gretzky, fa Wayne Gretzky Foundation. Holy jeez, why did that take so long to speak? don't know guys I've, I, had a, I had maybe a drink or two before the review that's okay on the bottom we also have a we also have a brood on dates my brain is working faster than I can speak sorry 
Uh, bu- 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 how do I read this? O two six nine two o eight dot dot o eight so eight o eight in the morning. I'm guessing fifty four dash four three one three. I'm not too sure how to really decipher this date code, but there's something there. I appreciate the effort, but you do all this fancy stuff, and you know, simple people like me don't understand. Just just keep it. Day, month, year, month, day, year, shit, year, day, month. I don't care, as long as it's legible. Just, just that, that's easier for all us common folk. Nice looking kid, good information. Just missing IBUs, but not the end of the world. You got your ingredients, which is a big thing. You got your description, which is awesome. And you have a best before brewed on day. A little hard to decipher, but still, at least it is there. With that said, going from the can. To the website, GretzkyEstatesWines.com. Yes, wines. This is originally a winery, but apparently they've made a beer, which is absolutely awesome. So, website. You go to the website, and you on the top bar, you find the introducing number 99 rye lager. So it's perfect. It's the first beer. It's awesome. It's a good time. Easy to find. I love it. When you get here, you do have a description, and it reads... Wayne Gretzky Craft Brewing. Wayne Gretzky Craft Brewing is a modern brew house making innovative versions of approachable styles. As a player, Wayne took what was familiar, but never failed to put his unique stamp on things. And the game was never the same. We take the ethos seriously and brew a beer that is not content with just being traditional or expected. It's about taking the familiar and pushing the boundaries to create something truly special. And that right there, beautifully explains this beer, or this beer, or the, they're the same thing, this is just in a glass, but it does explain it absolutely beautifully, and you know why? Remember when we first, or, or at least when I first took a smell of this beer? Doesn't really smell super special. In the beginning, the taste isn't that special, but then that rye comes in and just changes the game up. That's what Gretzky did. Took something that we all knew, that everybody knew, put his own spin on it, made it awesome, made it his own, and rocked the world. So what this beer is doing, taking something we all know and love, putting a nice little twist on it, a very unique yet groundbreaking twist, something that sets it apart from others, but still is very traditional in the same way, a balance of both worlds. And absolutely... Love it. I actually, I'm actually a big fan of this beer. This might be the beer, be the drink that it has rye in it that gets me to that turning point of enjoying rye and rye-based beverages more and more. So that's awesome. Speaking of the beer, awesome description. Website, that's really all there is. is there's the description and then kind of that's it. But it also has pricing for a single 473 ml can, which I didn't purchase. My dad purchased it um, on the website, showing it coming in at $3.25 for a single 473 ml can, but also in a six pack of Tall Boys for $17.95. Pretty good price for the six pack, actually. A little bit more than regular stuff, but hey, you're getting a damn good beer out of it. So, not complaining. Website, other than that, very clean. You know, good looking website. Would like a little bit more information about the beer other than just this little description. But hey, oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, it's the, yeah, it, it's the same. Okay, cool. You, you hover over the beer. You can, ooh, there's a learn more. Ooh. But will it let me learn more? No, it's the same description. You just go to learn more, and then it's the same thing on a different style of paper, which is fine. Available at the estate, LCBOs, select local bars and restaurants. Um, I think they forgot to mention grocery stores because this is where my dad got mine. Thanks, Dad. Um, but yeah, same cool, good website. I like it a lot. Finally, moving over to Untapped, the number 99 rye lager by Wayne Gretzky. Craft Brewing or Wayne Gretzky Estates is coming in at 3.57 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of 315 ratings. Not bad at all. Like I said, it's crisp, it's refreshing, that rye gives it a nice bit of punch, nice bit of oomph, 
nice little bit of uniqueness across the board, but still very traditional of a lager, you know, nothing uh, super, super out there, just a nice twist on things, absolutely fantastic. With that said, guys, cheers in the final sip, let's get right to ratings. I'm a big fan of this rye. Like I said, I've had rye stuff before. Rye just, yeah, it doesn't really fit with me. But in this, in this, I think just because of the lightness of what a lager is, it's very crisp and refreshing, and that rye is a bit more bolder in a sense. Um, it's a great balance, and I'm absolutely loving this beer. It's a great time. That's why Wayne Gretzky, Wayne Gretzky rye lager deserves a solid 8.5 out of 10 for me as for presentation like i said i love this can design the black and white with the with the white being the uh the sort of the uh the skate the the the, uh, the ice shavings where the skate uh, stops abruptly i love it good information here nice description uh brute on or best before date a little bit jumbled up but not the end of the world at least it's there and also ingredients that's perfect abv obviously got to be there it's really only missing ibus which isn't the end of the world but still would be a nice little thing to have Website looks great, very clean, very crisp, just like the beer, but you know, a little bit more information would definitely be appreciated. That's why overall presentation gets a solid 7.5 out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want me to review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, May Bruski, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Maple Rouge King, like I always say, crack, bring, and enjoy. Cheers. Oh, the good old hockey game, the good old hockey game. I don't know all the words and I'm spilling on my table. That's not a good time, I need to clean it up. It's also spilt beer, that's never fun. Cheers.